Hey you guys, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching The Walking Dead with us. Season 8, Episode 7, Time for After. Time for After. Hmm. Um, I'm really enjoying the season so far. There has been like an episode or two where I'm like, eh, you know, but for the most part, it's been pretty good. I mean, I've enjoyed it. So. Well, of course, it's Walking Dead. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really excited to keep going. And We're one away from the mid-season finale, which I see the next one's called How's It Gotta Be, which is an hour long. So Yep, it's a bit longer of an episode, the next one, but I'm excited. I just want to get into it. We can talk afterwards. Well, first off, I want to wish uh, Leila... Yes, happy birthday to Leila. It was on Sunday, so happy belated birthday. Hey, Leila, <laughs> pretty little Cajun queen. <laughs> happy birthday to you, and we just wanted to say that from us to you. Happy birthday, and... We hope you have a great one. I know you'll see this before your birthday, but YouTube will see it after. Um, but yep, happy birthday. Hope you have a great one. You know, probably stuck in your house, but regardless. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks. But anyway, the thing of it is, is hopefully you're healthy. Hopefully everyone else is healthy. Want to also say thanks to all the medical workers and the essential people out there pulling their weight, doing what a lot of people can't do. Um, we thank you very much from us to you. So if you're in that field, and we know a lot of you are, especially some that are close to us. Yep. Uh, even on this channel that we know really well. Yes. Uh, could go down the list. And, and a lot of you pop in my mind as I'm talking right now. I want to wish you all the health and stay safe. Keep doing your thing. Thank you so much for all that you do. Yes. Thank you so much to all the essential workers, um, especially those in the healthcare field. Um, putting your lives on the line, your and health on the line. And I'll say this, I just went to the VA yesterday. I didn't want to go in, but they made me come in. But I took the extra time with every one of them. I wore a mask. I yep. kept my distance. I respected everybody's space. I did everything I could to keep clean uh, and, and far enough away. Um, but I thanked every single one of them that I came in contact with for being there and doing the job that they're doing. So with that said, I really do thank and respect. Yes. You know, my fellow human beings. So please do that um, as well. Thank these people. Thank, you know, people at the grocery mart the, for doing the job. You know, that little word of encouragement, even though maybe you don't want to speak to them, just two seconds of thank you for doing this during these times yeah. can be enough to maybe make their day worth, hey, this yeah, is the reason that, I'm here. You know, make them feel like what they're doing is worth it. Well, it and, is. And it, it is. is. It totally is. And they deserve that. They deserve that for, you know, they're not only putting themselves at risk, they're putting everyone they're around at risk because Their they don't, families. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. I know that your skin uh, from washing your hands and <laughs> you got and, you probably have really dry skin right now. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and we love you so much. Thank you. Um, we we all do our job in our lifetime to do something great. What you're doing right now is the biggest event that I've ever been a part of or lived through, and it's amazing. Sometimes I wonder, you know, me and Lacey sit here. And we question what's going on. We wonder if there's other motives going on or, you know, there's been so many diseases that have hit and, you know, nothing was ever really talked about. But this Not one, to the, yeah. you kind of see that meme that says, well, I lived through eight pand or, you know, pandemics not, or epidemics and I'm still living. And but it makes you really wonder, you know, sometimes as me and Lacey talk on our own sometimes is there something we're missing? Is there something 2020 else? has been a crazy year. Well, it's an election year. From the get-go. That makes, makes yeah, things... Yeah, that, that makes me question things. Like, it's an election year. A lot of things are going on right now. And I, I just feel like there's a lot of stuff that normal people, normal Americans don't know about that's happening 
behind the scenes Mm -hmm. that maybe we are meant to have a blindfold on to. And and sometimes when you create fire over here, there's something going on over here. Okay. To distract you from. Yeah. And and that's true. It's true in, in war. It's true in a lot of things. Yeah. You know, um, so what I say is open your mind. I'm not saying that, that there is or there isn't, but what I'm saying is, is open your mind to learning more, uh, to being open to listening to ideas and facts or, or, or opinions. Yeah. Um, I keep my mind open to all of it. I, I like to, I like to listen to things. Even if it go, sounds crazy, I like to listen say, you know to what? it. Yeah. Just to. I call bullshit have all the information or I call you know, that could, that could be because some right. of these people put together these wonderful videos and me and Lacey watch them, you know, and it's not to scare the shit out of us. It's to be informed. That's yeah. what, that's the critical thing. Yeah. The news is going to paint a picture and then you're going to have people that bring out other parts of it and develop, you know, kind of a spreadsheet on, on why this is happening. But pay attention. What I'm saying is, is be informed. Yeah. Understand what's kind of going on, what's at stake. And just, you know, whether you be a Democrat or Republican or an independent or or whatever. Ultimately, that doesn't matter. Because... It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter at all. We all want what's best for everybody, right? So we're in this together. So regardless. what I'm saying is my job as a father and, and, and just a normal person is to kind of find out what's going on in the world and and maybe look under the covers a little bit and not just under the big cover that you put over you but look a little bit deeper yeah you know see what see why things are kind of going on not saying there is i think this thing is very real but is it is it something that was conjured exactly or is it something that was or is the situation being taken advantage this of? This is huge. I mean, the yeah. government doesn't just hand out money to everybody that files taxes because they want to. Um, there's a deeper, there's something something really different, something surreal. And yeah. and I guess if that's, if... that's the thing is it's different. It's surreal. It's something that I don't think any of us can really put our finger on as to why why everything is happening right now Mm -hmm. and to the extent it's happening and right now which seems to be questionable to me i guess as to why it's happening right now in 2020 where it's right before an election i mean there's a lot of there's there's times when you're watching this right now that me and Lacey will be talking and she'll say something so brilliant and out of left field, we were just talking about before we came on on camera. Yeah. Uh, that I'm like, holy shit! I mean, these are things that we need to be it's saying. Just on, random on, things that come through my head that. But they're but they're not dumb. They're, they're not dumb. They're, they're totally like legit they or kind, could be legit. That's what I'm saying. It makes sense, but at the same time, it's like, but who would do that? You know what I mean? It's like. But some people would. You guys don't know what we're talking about, but we'll we'll talk about it with you but guys we, at some point. We have talked about doing some videos on other videos that we watch. And, you know, we want to learn more about it before we just come on air and, and start right. speaking and whatnot. I want to be informed completely. And then go over it with yeah, you yeah. if 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 we go down that having, rabbit hole. Having to do with... But understand, I'm going to say this one time. Okay, <laughs> one time only. We are not pro anything as far as a political party. Me and Lacey have decided in our union that we'll always keep our minds open to what's best for the people, what's yeah. best for everybody, and not just what benefits us the most, right? But what what benefits the human race. Yes. The most. Yeah. And yeah. you know, our feelings are going to be contrived from what we feel inside and what we learn and what we see. Um, not necessarily what we hear because half of what you hear is bullshit. Right. Yeah. So, you know, we like to drive from our own minds and watching people's body language, listening to, uh, videos and stuff like that with that. And we watching, watch and, and watching and listening to 
not just one point of view, but every point of view. Because I call a lot of these, I, I'm talking Trump, I'm talking Biden. I see a lot of bullshit at times. That I come see out. a lot of bullshit between all of them where I'm like, who's who's the lesser of two evils in this situation? I honestly don't know. There's things I don't you like know? about both. There's yeah. things I don't, you know, and, and this has happened every time that I voted is, goddamn, at the end, I'm like, uh, what the hell do I do here? And then I just go with the lesser of the, the evils at times. But, you know, that's the thing, guys and, 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 and females. We, we like to really talk amongst ourselves in our household, and we can be free about doing that. And that's how I feel that we should go about things. And we're going to learn more about some of the things we're kind of watching right now. So if that may interest you that we might do that later on, we'd like to know. Um, that it might even turn into live stream discuss discussions where we can talk about things. It's not to start arguments. It's about information. Yeah. You know, you don't have to like it. You don't have to want it. But, you know, I think the biggest thing about being a part of this military and wanting, you know, I, I was, and being a part of your community is learning as much as you can and not just throwing away information you need to accept it listen to it contrive whether it's true or false and then move on about your day right we can agree to disagree me and Lacey do yeah. and but we still live it, together it, it we're does, still it, married and we haven't hit the divorce court it, it so. doesn't affect us as people just because we disagree with each other about things sometimes we move on we're like okay i see where you're coming from on that point this is how i feel Okay, end of discussion. You but, know what but I mean? But 99% of the time, I, I would say 95 or 90%, 90% would be best said that we really do feed off each other and we really do communicate well when it comes to really seeing through bullshit. And especially yeah. when I might say something, then she comes up with a better way to say it. OK, <laughs> and and sometimes she's spot on about things that I'm like, holy shit, maybe there's something to this. And I don't know. I think you guys would really enjoy it. I mean, the conversations we have, they're deep. They go deep they and go they go deep. deep down rabbit holes that you they know, go down rabbit holes that not a lot of people like to go down. But at the same time, sometimes I feel like you have to to be fully informed about a subject. And it may it may it may scare. It, it, it could may scare. scare. A lot of it people. could. It yeah. could. Uh, you know, I'm not scared. I mean, I like to know the truth, whether it be bad or good. You exactly. Know? Like you don't have to cover up how many people are passing away. You don't have to cover up numbers. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is be truthful with people, and people will wrap themselves around it, like we're wrapping ourselves around home confinement and stuff like quarantines and. And, and weird shit that we've never, ever had before, but people are doing their jobs. Yeah. The essential people are out there doing their thing. And we're And some we're are even doing really, getting sick. Yeah. Some are even you getting gotta understand, sick and dying. We're normal just like you. We're not the president. We're not the governor. We're not a senator or anything. We're nothing, nothing We just want to know what the hell they're doing. Are they doing their damn job to the best of their ability for us? And that's the question we need to ask. Who is in it for us? Who's in it for them? Or yeah. what is this all about? Well, and yeah, there's something, all I can say for sure is there's something going on right now in the year 2020. Something bigger. Something bigger than any of us know about that. And we have to dive in to figure it out. And I don't and know what, but that's what I'm trying to figure out. No, I, I totally agree. You know, uh, this is a very, very harsh case of the flu that kill people. Okay. Never seen this. I mean, this is the first, I'm, I'm 40 what? <laughs> How old am I again? I'm 40. Anyway, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Anyway, to, to, to be honest with you, it, sometimes I wonder, okay, this is surreal enough that I think that it warrants a little bit of more information and, yeah. and figuring out, you know, yeah. and damn it. I hope I'm wrong and I hope you're wrong, but I feel 
deep down in my soul, there's something bigger than all this. Yeah. That's kind of going on. I agree. Whether it be derailing someone at the top or whether it be propping someone up at the top. I don't know. I can't tell you. I think maybe it's a mixture of both. I think it is. I think it is too. A mixture of both. I think there's something going on. But but, we talked enough. Yeah, what we've talked enough about this. I know you guys are wanting us to get into this episode, so uh, we'll talk about stuff like this at some. Leave your comments below if If you you enjoyed the the mini discussion we had and if you would like to see us our conversations um about stuff like that further at any time in the future, you know. So Yeah. But we definitely would have to go along with videos that we've seen to get you that get you the proper into our mindset <laughs> into of what, our world <laughs> yeah into our world so we can have proper discussions so with that said walking dead i'm excited i'm excited too season eight episode seven time for after i thought that's what it was i just yep. wanted to make sure let's do it Stephen lacy I didn't remember where he was. Yeah, he's at the... Yep, junkyard. Yeah. Locked in someplace, naked. Sweating his ass off, apparently. Yeah, well, not completely naked, but... It's not too late for you. The offer still stands. Join us, or you can die. He's like this bitch. Turn. Wanting to get a pick, pick of that ass? I don't know what this weirdo is doing. I don't know either. Should we replace the bulb? Or is there a bulb? What, what? Or does it just magically regrow? Why? And what's this? Why the pictures? It's going to. She wants to sculpt him. What? Lacey, I don't know. I can't think that weird. I'm confused. There's nothing to learn from that. (laughs) Them people are... Just weird. They're whacked. That's it. You should have never went there. Alone. I don't know why he went there to begin with, honestly. I'm well aware you're the fifth caller. Green duffel, red paint, workers' guns. Doesn't require turn grade decryption to corrupt the truth that you're the traitor creeping and colluding with all. Really? It's an acronym I concocted. Alexander you know, Hill Top Kingdom. I consider going with Cobb, but it remains a hair too on Monopoly. I've been charged by no less than Negan himself with so I need you to see. Pretty brave going to him and saying all that. All the trails of backstabbery in exchange. I offer to keep what I know from Negan and the others. The saviors are finished. Negan's finished. In this place, what it's been, that's all over. Food and water's running low. Workers are angry, the saviors, they're getting scared at this place. You can't trust her. No, and I don't get it. Why, Why what is his... Why does he keep trying, like... Snipers, come on. Four down. This is Rick Grimes. Does anybody copy? The snipers aren't responding? none does that mean they're all inside or they're all dead you know what i mean but the snipers aren't responding and he's there with the freaking trash people i i don't get it why he even is bothering with them either i i know it's because he feels like he needs more people he needs more people on his side but he already knows he can't trust them yeah why would you want someone that's gonna undermine you you don't want people that you can't trust and you can't trust them. No. So I just don't get it. A lot of Eugene in this one, a lot of him trying to figure out what he wants to do. And it's obvious. 
he seems to be leaning towards, like, he definitely seems like he's playing both sides, but it's, but towards the end there, it seemed like he was going full Negan because of what he was seeing that right. what was happening. Right. Um, he apparently thinks it's the lesser of two evils at this point, I guess. Well, he's safe. He knows what. He knows but he's, now, but now he he's not. Yeah. And he thinks about himself, Paramount. He, that's what he said. Yep. And that's a, that's an issue. It is. He's an too issue. chicken shit to choose the side that he knows, and Andy's he, about ready to blow be, Dwight's cover. Was but wide he isn't open. now. He's not because Dwight came in. Dwight's right. Dwight said, told him straight, "This is all gonna fall," which it is. Which it is. Yep. I mean, whatever's happening right now with the Walkers being gone, obviously they went in. They're not going to have bullets after this, but didn't Eugene... Do you realize <sighs> how close we're getting to season nine? Very close. And then guess what? Season ten. Yep. We're getting super close. Yeah. I mean, I'm excited. I mean, we've got the mid-season finale coming up next, and I'm excited for that one because I don't know what to expect. I don't have any idea of what's going to happen in the next episode, which I like. I don't like, I mean, I do like kind of knowing what's going to happen, but in this one, I really don't know. I have no idea what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, me so. either. This, this episode threw me. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, it you was you probably bit... have to go back a couple episodes to figure out what's going on is going to happen in this one. Because this one doesn't seem like, it uh, doesn't, other than... It doesn't really let too much Other than show. he's there with the trash people. So. Yeah, but... Apparently, Negan and Negan's people are still trapped in the building. Right. Fighting for their lives. Yeah. So, what could possibly happen in the next episode? You know, that's why I'm kind of... I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Share the video and bang that bell. And we hope you guys all have an amazing and awesome day. Hope amazing happens to you. Peace out.